Hey folks, DC7 here, and welcome to beautiful Bluebell Island. This is Iron Horse Farm. So, because of my little derp on Bellevue, which I haven't quite finished straightening out yet, I thought we'd uh, do the weekend on Iron Horse and do the week on Bellevue. Hope that meets Peopel's improvement. And yes, I often just make words up. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a beautiful Friday here on the Sunshine Coast and almost as nice a day as it is here but we gotta work so let's work folks park up the truck There we go. Oop, I guess we might want to shut it off. Okay. There. And we're here. And I do believe the first thing we actually need to do um, is get a field seeded. Because I don't think that we actually have... Let's have a look. I don't think we have actual crops. I think we have to get to that stage. Hello. Definitely want to get some grass cut, too. Alright, one of our fields... Doo -doo 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 -doo, ...is that one, and it's certainly not planted. So... Then there is this one. And number 10, so no. And number 3, so no, we don't have any of our fields planted at the moment. So that'll be our first job. Let's get a field planted, shall we? Hey. And then we get lots of grass to cut. Because we have ten cow, ten sheep, ten chickens. Buck, buck, moo, moo, ba. As we say on the farm, buck, buck, moo, moo, ba. Alright. Uh, completely lost <laughs> my cedar and all of that sort of stuff. Okay, there's the fert filling zone. Where the heck did I... Oh, there you are. Hi there. Cool. You do exist. <laughs> I was starting to wonder there for a moment. You'll do nice. Yeah. Come here, Mr. Fent Tractor. Bah. Noisy little farm in it. Out we go. Yeah, you do fit. Now, where is the seed trigger? Hmm. There is something to figure out, hey? Eh? Where, where, where is the seed trigger? We got fert there. That's fine. Fertilizer is fertilizer. Buck, 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 chicken! Alright. Uh, no, not that one. Doo, 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 doo. In this door, out this door, in this door. Nope. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll find some around here somewhere. Okay, those are the loading. Not this one. Fuel. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Right there where I parked the truck. What do you know? Alrighty, so. Hopefully that uh, tractor will actually be enough to do it. Hopefully. I sure like this map. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Sorry about that. I know where I am supposed to be going, but. A little distracted. What do we got here? Manure. Really? Huh. Okay. Cool. I guess you uh, cart it over there and then... Oh, right on. I do like that. So, going to be a lot of moving stuff around on this map. As opposed to just parking trailers under them and letting them fill up. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, what did I do? Uh I just went right back into the same area. Not a dopey booger. I tell you. 
I tell you. So. Let's get in here so we can actually see something. Okay. I'm hoping this tractor can actually cope with this. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, I need to get some of this silliness off of my screen. There. It's like somebody holding up a newspaper in front of your face when you're trying to drive. Hey, look at this. Well, I would, but I can't. There we go. Woohoo! He's a little bit of bumpy. And it was up at that one, right? Right. Oh, she's lifting the snow to this poor little fence pretty good, I'll tell ya. I'm gonna kinda wonder if maybe we're gonna be able to do it with this tractor. Start to have my doubts, I really am. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I really, really am. So. Because coming up that hill, it took the snow right off the ground. No steering. So I think what I'm going to do is hook her up to that 1800. Because I know that should pull it without much worry. Pretty sure it's got to couple of more ponies than the fence. Well, I might be wrong. I know the fence is a pretty strong tractor in its own right. But, let's see here. The only thing about this particular uh, 1800 is the camera angle is a little bit weird. You've either got to stay way high or well above it. it doesn't focus to where you think it normally would all right so you sort of got to go like way up here but other than that it's such a nice mod I really do like it but yeah <laughs> you can see what sort of camera issues a person can run into with it I gonna get past that not very well not on my first go oh well that's okay we're turned around now at least cakewalk from here and of course my trucks in the way of course it is the one time I decide to actually bring it here and park it it's in the way It'll park you up proper to start with. There we go. Nicely done. Now you're not in the way. Do 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 do. Ah, first time you get sloppy, see what happens. Oh, you're just not gonna turn now, are you? No. going with wheat the first time for sure you can believe me on that one because we're gonna need the straw we're gonna need everything we can get here we have less than 20 grand we are on hard mode MR so any dollar arrows we can get are going to be muchos appreciated and 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 good enough and 
that had better suffice us for about a month. <laughs> Alright. Oh, let's get out of here. Yeah, it doesn't nose up at all with this tractor, so... Cool. I think I can cut through here. No, I can't. This is the one with the wall. I <laughs> don't want to be doing that. Well, the last thing we need to do. Do 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 do. Off we go. Farming, farming, farming. Whoa, a little out of control. Just a little. Just a little. Well, I think that was the turn I wanted. Ah, doesn't matter. Lots of ways. We can go around, come in from the top. How's that? Gotta love the terrain around here. Alright, and here it is. Our big wheat field. <laughs> Ooh, what a postage stamp this puppy is. What a postage stamp indeed. Wow. Alright, so let's get this puppy unfolded. Very nice. Let us lower it down. Love it. Let's turn it on. Let's do it. And just to make sure we get the all important first road, huh? Perfect. Perfect. Relatively square little field, this one. Although it is a bit hard to... <laughs> see where maybe that one actually... Uh, perfect. Look at that. Absolutely glorious. Got uh, a fair bit of new gear to go through this time, which is always nice, of course. Uh, well, I have a new front loader, a Mercedes-Benz. A 900, I believe, MB900 turbo with a allo loader attachment on it so that's kind of cool have a new muck spreader although i think it's probably a little bit too big for this map but we will see it on the uh bellevue map and i have what else uh, a new trailer a big uh, cramp bandit 500 but again, a little bit large, maybe, for this map. We'll see how it turns out. But, uh, yeah. What else did we get? Um, oh, a complete set of uh, cultivators, some with built-in sprayers, the Lemkin Barrio Pack, as it's called, which we will be using, in fact, on this particular play. Uh -huh. Although, hmm, <laughs> it's just occurred to me, that's a cultivator sprayer. Hmm. Yeah, so what do I do? This is going to be seeded, but I'm still going to need a way to spray it. Huh. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Even if we, uh, we might have to go without the first time here, and then when we cultivate the next time around, I'll do it. See how it goes. Hmm. Hadn't really thought about that. With the uh, new cultivator that has our sprayer built onto it, I don't actually have a separate sprayer. 
So, <laughs> yeah. Good one. Good one. Hmm. Uh-huh. We will certainly get it sorted out, because I don't really want to waste an entire field cycle uncultivated, or uh, without fertilizing. We certainly don't have the wherewithal to use slurry or uh, solid manure, because we haven't yet produced any. If we have, it would be enough to maybe, you know, sprinkle some into a flower pot certainly would not be anything like what we'd need to actually do a field. So, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> mysterious sir and mysterious sir, I tell you. Well, we'll figure it out. Maybe one of those little tritons. I think they're pretty, pretty cheap. In fact, when we get to the end of this row here, I'm going to have a look at the price on them. 11,000 isn't a lot, but by the same token, not really, uh, because, yeah, we have, uh, where are we here? This guy here, but it has a sprayer system built in, right? So, hmm, a little bit different. What we actually want here, let's have a look. Oop. And go all the way up to sprayers. 7800 bucks for the little Triton, eh? Hey? Well, we'll definitely have to do that. Hopefully we'll have enough, uh, enough spray to fill it. <laughs> yeah, we'll buy one of those. Okay. Ooh. And I guess, I'll, oh yeah, being hard mode, I guess we're uh, a couple of hundred thousand dollars in debt to the bank too, aren't we? I can only imagine they're not going to be willing to wait for that money too terribly long. I might have actually started us a little thin. Just a little thin. Considering we only have this one tiny, tiny field. So, yeah. Well, we'll see how it goes, won't we? We'll get this guy seated up. I will, uh, like I said, pick up that little lizard. And we will sell it. Okay. You guys noticed what I just did there, eh? What a freaking waste. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I just went over the exact same patch of seeded land. Getting so nervous about this other thing going on. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you start thinking, huh? <laughs> At least with me. I'm sometimes better off to just not do that too often in a day get the old thinking thing happen and the next thing you know you're in trouble up to your nostrils so yeah that wasn't very bright at all hmm I think I'd never done this before of course half my videos you watch me would swear I'd never played this game before so you know the fact that if you look at my steam account and it's tipping like 1100 hours on this thing nothing to do with it man We're almost finished coloring in our little postage stamp. This is a pretty tiny field. Most of the fields are fairly small. So. Hmm. Oh. Oh, we missed it. We're going to miss it with the cedar, too? No. <laughs> I kind of figured that was about to happen, yeah. Come on, you're past it. What are you doing? Giving me a hard time when you don't need to? For heaven's sakes. Just what I wanted. Alright, another row done. Well, a few more passes. We're just about there, guys. Oh, this is such a beautiful map. I'm so glad I found this. Actually, uh, it's funny because I logged in this morning to uh, YouTube to check my account and such. And uh, there was one of my subscribers going, Hey, you should check out Iron Horse Farm. And, of course, in the background, I'm uploading the intro episode to Iron Horse Farm. 
<laughs> so I guess it caught his attention as well. And not a wonder, it is such a gorgeous little map. It's about time. Like I said, I went through, you know, I keep all my mods in a separate folder and the map, the mod uh, folder for maps. I think I've got about 15 maps in it. Um, and those are the ones that I didn't just delete offhand because they were absolutely no value to me. That's 15 maps that I thought might at some point offer some redeeming value as playable maps. So, and I tried every one of them and kind of, you know, put a few hours in and then went, well, this isn't all that exciting, is it? So... But I do blame it all on Steve from SC Modding. His map was so freaking brilliant, it's pretty much spoiled me up to this point. And like I say, this is uh, darn near as pretty as his map is, and darn near as nicely laid out. So, we'll have to see how it goes. With our big $3,000. <laughs> oh, don't drive down in the ditch. One thing with this big 1800, she ain't exactly sharp for steering. No survey. So I hope everybody enjoyed the little tour of the map. I know it was a pretty short episode, but it was just an introductory tour, so. And, uh, to those of you that were looking forward to Bellevue this weekend, my apologies. That was a unfortunate dirt. I said when I uh, loaded this map up, normally I'm loading a completely different mod folder because I've had one map MR and one non MR for when I've had more than one going. But, whoa. Um, because these are both MR, they're actually sitting in the same mod folder. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Even though they give you four opportunities to start a new game on the front page, I had to pick the exact same slot that I'd actually started the other one in. So, yeah, that was the end of that. And last run, guys. Make the corner, make the corner, make the corner. Barely. Come out of the tree, come out of the tree. Where are you? <laughs> I'm lost in the woods in my tractor. Alright, here we go. Well, we didn't use too much. Even though we thought we'd go over the same ones a few times. Got lots of seed in this field, I know that. <laughs> Way more than we need. Yeah, there's some spots here we should be getting about a bushel of square yard. Alright. The great field she has seeded. Ah, there we go. That's what it didn't like me doing. Brum, 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 brum. I do like this tractor. I mean, it's kind of not exactly super special looking inside or nothing, but, you know, it doesn't have a nice seat. But what it does have is lots of power and it's cheap. <laughs> yeah, I think I might park our cedar up down here. I think I might just do that. Uh, come on. You can do it. Well, as you can see, we've got a Lambo sitting there, front loader. And we've also got the Fent front loader. So that's kind of cool. And like I say, one of our Mercedes Trap Turbos also has the ability of being a front loader. And I don't mind that. I mean, dual purposing tractors like that, that's great. Why would you not? You know? 
Now, I don't exactly... I like that. It even leaves tire screeches, eh? Cool. I don't think I exactly need this big monster sucking up fuel to do the next job, so... Because that little lizard sprayer is pretty small. So let's go put this beastie away. And I think we'll grab that little fent once again. There she is. And go find our little lizard sprayer. Get that field sprayed. Because we are not going to have a whole lot of time to start making some money. I do like these too. Lots of I see on these guys. But look out, brown chicken, white chicken, white chicken, brown chicken. Woohoo! Out of control, man. Hehehe, <laughs> chicken tag, got them all. <laughs> it's probably not very good. I paid 40 bucks a piece for those things. So. Alright, let's go grab ourselves a little tiny sprayer. This field? New. Nope. Huh. Where does everybody spawn, man? It is this field. I just didn't come in through the right side. There we go. Here's the rest of our gear. Cool. Somewhere in here should be a little tiny sprayer. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta sell that trailer there. I don't think we're ever gonna use it. That'll give us a bit of money back. Oh, where'd our little sprayer go? Oh, I know. Watch this. <laughs> okay. Boom. There it is. I saw it fall. Way over here. sure what sale point this is. Alright, so we know where we are. Um, that's not what I want. I want the actual map. Here we go. Okay, they're not actually labeled, but yeah, it is definitely a sell point, isn't it? Hmm. Alright, well. We will figure that out. Probably the first time we get a great demand or something. <laughs> Driving through fields of flowers. Not a good idea because we've lost the road. Oh, now here's some mighty off road. Bum, 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 I gotta love this. <laughs> wow. That's just crazy, man. <laughs> uh, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I know, simple things. Simple things. Alright, let's get some work done. Ooh, getting this little bugger filled is just gonna kill it, isn't it? Oh, it's gonna be like Fundless Friday from now on. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. I think we're going to be playing in debt for a little bit here, guys, to be honest with you. So I do, because this is going to suck up pretty much everything. And we're going to need pretty much all of it, I think. Alright, well. <laughs> I'm sure stopping it there was pretty much pointless, but hey.
Hello, sheepies. But I have to click the corner of the trough. We will uh, be back with some grass for you, hopefully fairly soon. <laughs> Ah, corner's a little sharper than I thought. I knew I could go around here and go out that other one. I thought it was a little further up the hill. See, all I need now is to start running low on fuel or something and be completely hooped. Completely. <laughs> I love it. Just like driving my Jeep. Get a little bit hung up. Kick in all wheel drive. Alright. Let's unfold this thing. I know it doesn't have a lot of spreads, so I'm just going to have to hope that the little bit it does have. Wow. He's going to finish us up here. Because otherwise. What was that? A little bit of a micro glitch there. Hmm. It's almost trying to tell me I'm going too fast. And <laughs> just keeps flicking on. Thankfully, not long enough to uh, cut the spray beam. Boop. Uh, yeah, we'll have enough for our field, good deal. And like I said, once, uh, after this harvest, then I'll start doing it, but the field will get fertilized when it's cultivated. And I can sell this guy off. However, I'm not going to do that until she's out of spray. Because this chemical, man, this stuff's expensive. Let's get this done. Because we need to get some kind of a start. There we go. And 12%. Ooh, she's going to be a close thing, I'll tell you. A close thing indeed. Just trying to get as tiny a little bit left on the edge as I can, in case I don't have enough to come back. And, yeah, I might as well run up there with what I do end up with here, because it's going to be next to nothing anyway. So, let's fold this. Yeah, I won't have to worry about emptying the sprayer by next time, will I? There we go. Get this last, much of this last row done as we can. 2%, 1%, 11, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're out of spray. There we go. Almost got it all. <laughs> oh my. Alright, nice. Like I said, I will be selling that little sprayer now. Well, not now, but I will be selling it. So, excellent. Um, not sure what we'll get up to the next time. I do still have to sort out some of the gear. And we, like I said, will want to get some grass cut ASAP as well. So, that might be next time's project. Or it might be long enough that that's the stuff we just did is ready to harvest. At which point we can do that as well. So. Alright. I think I'll just slide you in here for now. Uh. Oh. 
You're not gonna fit, are you? Huh. No. Not without causing me a lot of problems. So, those are really, really narrow. Let me tell you. Really freaking narrow. But, definitely not made for big equipment this far. I was a little too close to the wall when I cut her loose. She wanted to hang up. <laughs> Alright, there we go, guys. We got our first little job done here on Iron Horse Farm. I'm just loving this map. This is really sweet. I mean, it can take a little bit of getting used to. All new maps do. But, once we are, I think we're really going to race around on this thing. Because, uh, I mean, it's just amazing. Freaking amazing. Look at that. There we go. Nice. Pretty much everywhere is a nice view of something. <laughs> so, I think that's going to do her, guys. So, till next time, this has been Species 7. Take it easy. Take care of each other. And ciao for now. <laughs>